Rahul Raju takes on Ahmed Mujtaba in the lightweight division. Strap yourselves in. Representing Pakistan, Amen Wolverine Mujtaba. The Pakistani Punisher, the Wolverine, Ahmed Mujtaba. Terrific 82% winning rate for the Pakistani. 44% submissions, 33% knockouts. Trying to get his way into the lightweight top five. That includes the likes of Nastukin, Baust, Aslanaliev, Lapikus, the champion Christian Lee. If you follow Mujtaba on social media, you know he's trained like an absolute demon in preparation for this one dragon i talked to him earlier this week and he says i am going to immediately jump on rahul raju and i'm going to hurt him and that kind of holds true to what kind of athlete ahmed morstaba is ahmed morstaba is a fast starter ladies and gentlemen five of his seven wins have come in the very first round he likes to put a pace on his opponents that they just can't keep up with and he throws serious power behind these shots he wants to get back into action as quickly as possible and he has been running his mouth about this matchup calling out rahul raju and it is about time that this match take place because i am pumped for this one michael representing india rahul the Kerala crusher raju Rahul Raju, the tall Indian who is based out of Singapore these days. 185 centimeters, and he can finish people too. Four submissions, two knockouts for. He's got a great top game, and he's just got a suffocating squeeze when it comes to that rear naked choke. You do not want this guy on your back because he will end your night. Rahul Raju has also got a really slick boxing stance. He moves around well, likes to put his hands together, put those punches together in bunches. He's also really strong inside the clinch, but he's going to have to move a lot in this matchup. He does not want to stay still and get caught stagnant. He's been prepping for this one for a long time, and he believes that Ahmed Morstaba is not going to want to stand in trade with him. He believes that Morstaba is going to shoot in for a takedown, but I don't know why he would do that when you have a grappler, the capability of Rahul Raju. This is going to be a very interesting strategic and stylistic matchup that I'm really intrigued to watch play out. India versus Pakistan, a traditional sporting rivalry, particularly in the cricket world, now enters the one championship circle. As I said, Raju does call Singapore a home. He is 6-1 in Singapore. His last three matches have been here in Singapore. And here is a man who could absorb a lot of damage and rally back. Looking very relaxed here. Raju can he use his Kung Fu and can he use his BJJ? It's a mixed martial arts rules contest set for three by five. India versus Pakistan. BJJ versus striking. Four centimeters the taller is the Indian. Here's Dom Lau. And now, this match is three rounds of five minutes in a one championship lightweight mixed martial arts contest. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, he is a Pakistani mixed martial arts champion, standing at 181 centimeters tall, holding a mixed martial arts record of nine wins and two losses. Training out of Fight House Bahia and my gym, representing Pakistan. Stepping into action is Ahmed Wolverine Mustaba. And introducing his opponent out of the red corner, he is an Indian mixed martial arts champion, standing at 185 centimeters tall, training at a juggernaut fight club, representing India. Get ready for Rahul, the Kerala Crusher, Raj 
Kaiju! And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Mr. Mohammed Sulaiman. Come, blue, red, gentlemen, come to the center, please. You both understand the rules, all right? Let's keep it clean, keep it active, okay? Obey my instruction at all time. Touch glove back to your corner. Final instructions from our referee, Mohammed Suleiman. We are ready for three rounds of action. Raju does have that kung fu background, though he's striking style. To Will he go hard and early on Rahul Raju here? Yeah, Michael, I believe Mortisabal really wants to put a pace on Rahul Raju. And Rahul Raju is really strong, so he needs to try to slow this down and utilize that strength advantage that he might have. Outside leg kick from Mujtaba. Both men just tipping their toes in the proverbial water at the moment. Overhand right from Raju. Left hook. A little too stiff on it though. Needs to loosen up some here, Mujtaba. Right hand leads with left hook. Telegraph that one. Nice movement though from Rahul Raju. Hands a little low on Raju. Scooping body shot there. Overhand right. Gets caught. Hands were low. Got caught. And Mujtaba did what he said he'd do. Finish Rahul Raju quickly. Wow, what a right hand from Ahmed Mujtaba. Took two and a half years out and barely lasted a minute in this matchup. Check out this right hand landed by Ahmed Mortstaba. Fully steps in. You can see Rahul Raju was swinging wildly. And then Ahmed Mortstaba just tucks the chin and lets that right hand fly like he's thrown a bowling ball into the third row. Just a hammer. He's Pakistani. It's a cricket ball, Dragon. It's a cricket ball. Let's cut it to out. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee has called a stop to this contest for your winner by way of knockout, Ahmed Mustafa. a tree and gives the win to that man, Ahmed Mujtaba, the Wolverine, back in the circle, back in the winner's circle, and sending a very loud message. Mujtaba, 27 years old, it's so good to see him back in action. And he continued the streak, still undefeated in Singapore, mind you, 3-0 now, Mujtaba. Has never been defeated here inside the Singapore Indoor Arena. What a moment for him. That huge 82% winning ratio continues.